When a lot of lizards feed, they're using their tongues to capture prey, not their jaws, not their teeth. And they're using their tongues to manipulate the food when it's in the mouth. And I just began to realize if I wanted to understand feeding function, I needed to understand something about the tongues. There are salamanders that don't actually project the tongue, but just have this very soft, compliant blob in the mouth. It contacts the prey item, and right at the point of contact, then the tongue surface begins to fold into a vertical crease. And so it gets pinched between two surfaces. It's never been described before. I see lizard and snake tongues as being my Darwin's finches. They're this incredibly variable system. And we can start understanding the diversity in terms of how one lineage optimized the sensory function of the tongue. And this other lineage, they've optimized the feeding function of the tongue. You look at other lineages and you find really interesting compromises where they try to do both functions and that's exactly what we're trying to understand. We're trying to understand the basis of diversity.